Free miniature Daily Mail. Tiny little version of a terrible newspaper. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's free. Is it? The worst paper in the world is now tiny and free. Free miniature newspaper. No worries. So this is a miniature distilled version of the Daily Mail, part of my uh, residency at RRU. I chose the Daily Mail because it's just so hypocritical. It's filled with moralising about the state of society and then it exacerbates all of the problems that it tries to draw attention to. Free miniature newspaper. Cheers, mate. I know it's played a huge role in building up some of the antagonisms that are currently at large in British society. Paul Dick has been one of the most poisonous influences on British society. You can tie a lot of the rise of the far right to a lot of the stuff that you get in papers like the Daily Mail. As a tribute to Paul Dick's departure, I think it's really fitting because the headlines are exactly what you'd see in the Daily Mail. It's a satirical version of the Daily Mail, basically taking the piss out of it. And can I have one for me, Dad? Yeah, of course, man. It's absolutely brilliant, the irony and the sarcasm. And I think it's great in the sense that it gets people thinking about what they're seeing and about what they're reading every day. Day. He's painstakingly hand-drawn all of the mini mail. Like any good bit of satire, it's a cat's whisker away from the truth. The hardest thing has been trying to get people who hate the Daily Mail to take one. There's a lot of confusion, a lot of people laughing. No one's been angry though, which is, which is nice. Darren's artwork's quite quite controversial and um, it raises a lot of questions as well. It's been quite an interesting process trying to get this printed. We've approached 17 That's our first angry response. <laughs> I had quite a few problems with the uh, printing. Printers refused to print it based on the content and the fact that it was attacking the Daily Mail. It's brilliant when you're sort of like in the heart of the community. And it was nice to dip my toe in and be a little part of it. Dan's artwork is ace. And I love the fact that he's got his wee little store. We need more of this. We need more of art being interventionist and trying to challenge people's perceptions and people's opinions.